How's it going? It's Matt here from VCM. We're just going to be going through uh, different bell springs to suit different applications and what's to be used with what camshaft. So we'll go through a bit, different bits and pieces with locks and retainers, uh, single springs versus doubles when they're needed. And we're going to go through that for you right now. Okay, so here we've got here uh, a cylinder head off uh, L77. This is just basically showing the different bell spring combinations that we have and also basically showing the factory unit in place. As you can see, these ones here, in the middle, they're the factory unit with a factory lock and retainer, so a seven degree, what they call a seven degree lock, which is uh, a pressed unit along with the retainer as well. So when we do all of our camshaft kits, we supply steel locks and retainers, which is a machined unit rather than the pressed unit. We just find that we, when we do sell camshaft kits, we like to do it as a complete kit, and a lot of guys don't like to use it, but you know, for a few extra dollars, it's not a bad piece of safety. It's something that Instead of being just a pressed unit where they're just mass produced, there's a machine and the tolerance is a lot closer than the factory unit. So it's a little bit more safety and when you guys start running big camshafts with big lift and duration, you know, a little bit of safety doesn't, doesn't hurt at all. So basically on the end here is what we call our PAC 625 single spring. Now that covers all the camshafts on our list. Now that, that 625 hour lift, that's everything, even to the biggest camshaft which we offer, which is a VCM 24 with 612 hour is still well and truly covered. But it's something that me personally, when I talk to customers, uh, there's a, a, a few different options. We do a also a 650 rated single spring also. You know, it's something where it gets a, a lot of RPM a lot of the time. You know, I tendency for another, you know, not a lot of extra cost. We like to step it up to the, the next rate up single spring. They're the two options for the single spring that we have. And it covers everything we've got on paper. We also have a, as you can see on the end here, a, a dual spring. Yeah, you know, rated at 660th hour lift. Only marginally bigger than the, the single 650, but for something that is 100% of a circuit car all the time, or a drag car, or a, a, a burnout car, something that sees RPM consistently all the time, and something that obviously no doubt has a big camshaft underneath it. If in the event of a broken valve spring, you know, it doesn't happen too often, but it can happen. The double is not a bad idea because what happens is generally it breaks the outer, the inner spring will prop it up. So nine out of 10 times, you'll save damaging a valve or, or bending a valve or damaging the piston. Put that in motion. So hey, if you're gonna do all those, you know, burn out some door bit of racing and stuff like that, the double is probably where you wanna be. And like I said, you get the added safety of having that inner spring. If you do have a failure, like I said, nine out of 10 times, it will prop it up and you'll get out of trouble.